Yes, hello, good evening, guys. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, so, uh, okay, I'll wait for a couple of minutes more. Only 27 of you are there. Okay, so guys, today we are going to do uh, three chapters. I have prepared the slides for alcohol as well, but this three chapter only, it took around uh, 50 slides. So I doubt we'll be able to finish uh, this 48, 50 slides and more than slides, like more number of slides required for today's session. Okay, if it is there, then we'll add up, right? We'll add the slides into this. But as block biomolecules, polymers definitely will try to finish it today itself because I was going through the plan, the plan that you have now, that is the older plan. Uh, and according to that plan, we are going to finish the portion on 23rd of Feb, if you see, right? Right, so we have to go a bit fast. I think Feb 7th and or Feb 10th max to max will have the class for this crash course. So that's why we'll try to finish these three chapters today. Okay, I have taken uh, most of the theories in this. Okay, because this you need to revise and, uh, you know, so theories I have taken properly. Uh, questions are also there. Okay, S block, I have taken a few questions of Bunsen classes module. It's a solved questions. I did not get the unsolved one. So I have taken that so that we can go through the questions also. Okay, so biomolecules, polymers and S block will finish today. Next class also, I'll tell you what all chapters will, will do. Okay, so we'll start the session. So like half of the things we have done last class only, uh, S block. Today we are going to start with sodium here, okay? So sodium and the compounds of sodium. First one is sodium monoxide, okay? Preparation, how it is obtained? I'll just tell you the key points here. If you want, you can write down in short. Anyways, you're going to get this notes, okay? So that also from there also you can revise. So first of all, Na2O is a white amorphous solid. Okay, this property, uh, you should know how it is prepared. It is prepared by heating Na2O2, sodium peroxide, NO2O2, or sodium nitrate, NaNO3. Right? The so sodium peroxide and sodium nitrate, you heat with sodium itself. It converts into sodium monoxide and N2 gas phase. This reaction is important. Sodium nitrate on reaction with sodium releases nitrogen gas, okay? It reacts with water violently, forming NaOH, right? Energy releases in this process. On heating over 400 degrees Celsius, it disproportionates to give peroxide and metallic sodium. This reaction is also important. Over 400, disproportionation takes place. Third one, okay? With liquid ammonia, it forms sodamide and sodium hydroxide. Okay, the formation of sodium hydroxide is pretty common in this uh, particular compound that is Na2O. Okay, so important point in this, the evolution of N2 is important. Okay, and decomposition takes place, sodium metal gets involved. This is also important here. Okay, so the next one you see, sodium hydroxide, NaOH. Sodium hydroxide is commonly called caustic soda, we all know. Therefore, used as a air purifier, it is prepared by electrolytic process. Okay, there are two electrolytic methods commonly used for the preparation of sodium hydroxide. One is Gaster Kellner cell, right? In this, what happens? We have two diaphragm actually. What you have to keep in mind in Gaster Kellner, cathode is made up of mercury. Reaction is this, which forms soda amalgam, and then this go into the inner compartment. If you go through NCRT, there the you know, explanation is given here. There are two compartments in the outer compartments, cathode, cath mercury, cathode is made up of mercury, where the reduction takes place. 
NaHg forms sodium amalgam, and then this go into the inner compartment. Inner compartment, the anode is made up of graph graphite here, where this oxidation takes place. Okay, sodium amalgam removed from the cell. It is then decomposed in a separate cell by water, giving NaOH, hydrogen, and mercury. And mercury is recirculated. So here, this anode and cathode thing you must remember. What metal we use for this particular things, anode and cathode. Okay. Next, sodium carbonate, like it exists in various forms. And hydrous sodium carbonate is soda ash. Soda ash. monohydrated form dot h2o crystal carbonate heptahydrated 7h2o it is manufactured by solve ammonia soda process name is important not for je but in bitsat uh, neat all these exams they ask this question okay solve or ammonia soda process in this process brin that is a solution of salt ammonia and carbon dioxide are the raw materials chemical reactions involves this ammonia carbon dioxide and water forms ammonium bicarbonate which reacts with nacl forms sodium bicarbonate and h4cl evolves and on heating the sodium bicarbonate it gives an hydrous form of na2co3 okay ammonia solve process cannot be used for the production of k2co3 since khco3 has 